guys, Carl here from Retro32. This is another quick video, this time on the Pi Storm Accelerator using the Pi Zero 2 instead of the usual Pi 3 Model A+. Uh, now, as with everything, there's a lot of people suffering from the chip shortage, so the Pi 3 Model A's have been in quite short supply. So we've managed to source some Pi Zero 2's and we've been asked to see what the performance uh, differences between the two. So I put this little video together um, with it running in our Plexi 500 or A500 plus plus Plexi laser case as you can see she's an absolute beauty now also running a purple GoTech as well so here we go we're just gonna run it up um, and see how it compares. Now we're gonna jump straight into sysinfo just here, as you can see, we've got it in the 030 mode, and we're going to see what she gets. Now, as you can see, there we go, 17 MIPS. Now, compare that to 23 on the Pi 3 Model A Plus. It's kind of it's about 35% decrease in performance, which, to be honest with you, isn't that much of an issue, as you see. So, what we're going to actually do is um, run some kind of the, the common games that a lot of people want to see the, uh, the performance and the frames per second in so um, you can get kind of an idea um, on the performance of this board um, so yeah hope you enjoy it also I hope you enjoy the song which I made back in the day I think it was God probably in about 2000 using um, the dance EJ software on my PC so yeah hope you enjoy it and uh, there we go thank you for watching cheers bye And I did forget to say that the Pi Storm accelerator boards are available from my website www.retro32.com. Uh, they are in limited numbers at the minute, um, but we do offer full kits, um, board only, and also with them just including the SD card as well. So check out the website for uh, that and lots of other Amiga goodies. Um, yeah. Thank you. Bye.